was born in Buenos Aires. They named her Mashinka. But what was the mother's surprise when she swaddled the baby at home, and it turned out to be a boy? Oksana Kolesnikova had her fifth child, so she did not go to the hospital during pregnancy. She went to the maternity hospital, only when her waters broke, she was taken to the hospital and placed in an isolation ward. Doctors explained that this is a mandatory measure for those who were not observed by doctors during pregnancy. The expectant mother was taking rapid tests, including tests for HIV. After delivery, they put the baby on her stomach, but at that point she could only see the head. When the baby was taken away, I, of course, asked who was born. The girl, the midwife replied. The nurse took the daughter to the children's ward. And an hour later an emergency room worker came to me and gave me a tag that said my baby girl was born weighing 3 kilograms 100 grams and 50 centimeters tall. I asked how my baby girl was doing. The baby girl is fine, she says. With the certainty that her daughter had been born, the woman lay in the maternity hospital for four more days. During this time, she did not visit the baby because it was forbidden until the results of the tests came back. The day before she was discharged the tests came back there was nothing wrong with the health of mother and child. Oksana was allowed to move to a general ward, where she would be brought her baby to stay with her. But the woman thought there was no point in transferring to another room for one night, so she stayed alone. When they brought the baby home, they decided to bathe him immediately. The whole family ran over to see the newborn baby sister Masha. But how surprised everyone was when they saw that it was not Masha at all, but Misha. The woman filed a complaint with the prosecutor's office. The Liski Central Regional Hospital, where Oksana gave birth, conducted a DNA test at their expense. It turned out that the woman was 99.99% the mother of the born boy. On that day a boy was born alone, the rest were all girls. The medical staff had simply made a mistake when filling out the paperwork. Oksana was very indignant, how could doctors make such a mistake? It turns out that they did not examine the baby at all. An angry woman was assured that all of the perpetrators will be disciplined. But she stood her ground, she would not take her complaint, she wants the medical staff to be punished by law. Well, what can I say doctors from God, but God forbid we should encounter such people. Thank <laughs> you.